morning everyone i feel like i look so tired i got up earlier than usual so really busy day today and i'm not a morning person i thought i would be a morning person by moving to the city because it's a bit warmer than my hometown along with just more things to do and places to experience but nope i still don't get up that early but i woke up today around 8 15 it's currently 9 15 so today we're going to be doing a day in my life in new york city with an iphone 14 pro we're going to be doing some camera testing and checking out the battery performance amongst a few other things all right so it's currently 9 23 a.m my battery percentage is at 96 percent and then my total screen time is one hour and 10 minutes so all right one hour and 11 minutes now 47 minutes on social media 12 minutes on productivity and seven minutes on entertainment i've only been up an hour and i've already spent 47 minutes on social media what all right so the first thing we're going to do today is grab some coffee because i'm low-key tired and i don't do pre-workout before i work out i kind of just drink coffee or like a v8 energy drink before i do my workout so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then walk over to the gym that luckily is like a 30 second walk away when I work out, I try to minimize the amount of applications I'm interacting with so I can stay focused. And it was even easier during this workout because my headphones died. So it was really no temptation to go on social media because the music was pretty loud in the gym. So watching TikTok or Instagram reels wouldn't be a good experience. So for this workout, I really only use Safari, Spotify for like the first five to 10 minutes, and then the Gymshark app. All right, so we're gonna do a quick battery life check and we're going to look at how much screen time we have. So it is 2.04 p.m. and my battery percentage is at 63% with three hours and 50 minutes of screen time. An hour and 10 on social media, so not that much more than the amount of time I had around like 9.30 a.m., one hour and eight minutes for productivity and finance and 35 minutes of entertainment time. I definitely need to invest in a higher quality tripod for my iPhone. I find that the iPhone is honestly like the best camera to use in great lighting situations. One thing that I noticed right away when comparing the iPhone 14 Pro to the iPhone 13 Pro, and this is because I did a test of the phones side by side, and that's that at the 1X focal length, the iPhone 14 Pro has a bit larger field of view than the 13 Pro. Also notice that the video is also brighter, and I think a major part of that is is that the iPhone 14 Pro has a 65% larger sensor paired with the new Super Retina XDR display. All right, so I'm shooting in the cinematic mode using the internal microphone in the iPhone 14 Pro, shooting at 4K, 30 frames per second. I never thought I would use cinematic mode, but I actually think I'll enjoy using it more for vlogging. Playing trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed I can see me using cinematic mode more often because the background, like the bokeh, looks more realistic. In previous iPhones, I felt like cinematic mode just looked like the bokeh looked a little fake and a little bit too fuzzy. Like my subject would go out of focus a lot and the edges of my subject that I was focusing on were just too fuzzy. And with that said, yes, I do think you could use this as a vlogging camera. And in certain situations, you can replace your vlogging camera with this iPhone. And I guess in many situations you could because you don't have to really worry about color grading the footage. 
footage looks really good. The vocal looks great. The lighting and exposure looks perfect. All right, so I have some creative concept work that I need to do with this brand that I'm working with that I'm actually really excited to be working with. And things just come full circle when you work with brands that, you know, you use their services or their, or their goods or like clothing or whatever. But I walked over to Manhattan West because it's a really nice scenic area that I could get some work done and maybe grab a coffee. Throughout my day in New York City, I noticed how vibrant the iPhone 14 Pro display is, and that's thanks to the Super Retina XDR display. I definitely noticed the difference between the 14 Pro display and the 13 Pro display. Don't get me wrong, the 13 Pro's display is vibrant as well. I don't know if the 14 Pro is 65% more brighter than the 13 Pro. All I know is it was really easy for me to use my phone in the sun, especially using maps, and I didn't even have it in dark mode, and I was able to easily see what my route was. All right, what's good everyone? I'm officially back home. What a long day, but it was a lot of fun filming this day in a life with the iPhone 14 Pro in New York City, doing a camera test and checking out the battery performance. So my phone got down to like 6% at like the 10-ish hour mark, which I guess wasn't surprising because I was doing a lot of multitasking and I didn't close out any of my apps. So I wasn't really being efficient with my phone's usage. I also was using it as a hotspot for like 45 minutes, which definitely takes a significant portion of my battery life. And I also was shooting in 4K, 30 frames per second for the most part, along with shooting in that Pro Raw format as well. My total screen time for the entire day was about seven and a half hours so pretty constant use since i woke up at like 8 a.m and it's currently like 8 p.m on a normal day where i'm not like putting the phone through the ringer and making sure i'm charging it you for sure can get a whole day's worth of usage especially for those of you all who aren't taking public transit and have a car where you can actually charge your phone while you're commuting nonetheless this was a lot of fun I just love how sharp the footage was in like the depth of feel with the cinematic mode and how true the colors were. Like I never really enjoyed vlogging with the iPhone because I felt like it looked too cartoonish and that things fell pretty flat. But with the cinematic mode, it adds this like depth of feel that I feel like the previous phones didn't really have that makes the footage look not that much different from like one of those Sony vlogging cameras like the Sony ZV-1. That concludes this video. This was more of like observation and testing opposed to like opinions. So if you actually want like a full thorough review of my experience using the iPhone 14 Pro, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.